A federal agency continues to put a South Bibb factory under the microscope after a second fatal accident. As we told you yesterday, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration has cited Nishiha for 60 safety violations over the past 12 years. Abby Kosaurus is outside the plant with an update on the investigation. This is a photo of 59 year old Willie Bonner. He was involved in an accident here yesterday. Coroner Leon Jones says that he was knocked by a robotic arm onto a conveyor belt and then crushed by machinery. Back in 2014, OSHA placed Nichiha in their severe violation enforcement program, which means mandatory follow ups and increased enforcement. They paid more than $200,000 in fines, much of that for what OSHA called serious and repeat violations. One of the violations OSHA cited the plant for was that the company was not using a group lockout procedure that keeps equipment from starting up unexpectedly. Frank Oliver Bonner's nephew says he had to go through extensive OSHA training to work at a similar plant. He says he believes Wednesday's accident was likely caused by the same problem and he wonders why his uncle didn't get the same safety training. No one could have saved him, could have saved him, and not just him, anybody else, anybody. Training on these machines, lockout, tag out work. I was in OSHA training for two weeks. Bonner's family says he had just started working here about a month ago. They said that he was hired through a temp agency, Premier Staffing Unlimited. They say that he just moved back from Denver after being gone for 30 years. They said he moved back to spend time with family and to find some work. In Macon, Abby Kasaurus, 13 WMAZ News. Nishiha's HR manager in Macon, Michelle Wood, says they are cooperating with OSHA's investigation, but said they won't talk about the accident until the investigation is finished. We're taking a closer look at OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, the federal agency that enforces workplace safety complaints. Wednesday, we told you the agency had fined Nishiha more than $210,000 over the past 12 years for dozens of serious and repeat safety violations. Turns out they're not the only local company that's had to pay up. OSHA records online show that Bluebird, the Fort Valley bus company, has been fined at least six times over the past seven years for nearly two dozen violations. They've had at least two amputation accidents. Bluebird has paid more than $80,000 in federal fines, according to the online documents. Another repeat offender is Pyrotechnic Specialties, the Byron Fireworks Company. The report says that last month OSHA fined them more than $140,000 on three serious violations from an inspection this year. The biggest complaint? Improper handling of hazardous chemicals. Documents show the company also paid a $56,000 fine three years ago after an employee was burned in a small explosion. Central Georgia's biggest violator, according to OSHA, the four-year-old Kumho Tire Plant. They've paid more than $460,000 in fines in 2015, according to the online reports. Earlier this year, OSHA called the company a severe violator and in reports said Kumho's lax safety put workers at risk of falls, burns, and other accidents. We recently reported on two other OSHA cases in central Georgia involving the death of a worker who fell from a bridge under construction at the I-16, I-75 interchange and of a man who died in a forklift accident at Pearson Farms in Crawford County. According to records online, both cases are still open and no fines have been issued. 